everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna learn how to crochet the women's chunky mitts. These are really easy to crochet and they're very cozy and just really lofty and perfect for the cold months. We are going to be using some super bulky yarn, so they're also very, very quick to work up with our large hook that we have here. Also, I wanted to point out, I have a pattern for a men's chunky mitts, and I have a pattern for a kid's chunky mitts as well, so you can really make them for everyone on your list. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the women's sizing, but check out those videos as well. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and as an option, if you need a tape measure or ruler to kind of help you as you go along, totally optional, and your hook. Now I'm gonna be using a nine millimeter crochet hook and different manufacturers call this hook uh, different things. So some will call it an N hook, some will call it an M hook. This one says M slash N. So just go by the nine millimeter size and you'll be fine. The yarn I'll be using is called uh, Wool East Thick and Quick by Lion Brand. I'm gonna be using the Fisherman colorway. Now obviously you can use any color you like and this particular yarn comes in a whole lot of different colors. Um, if you need to substitute yarn, just look on the back um, of the yarn label for a six super bulky yarn and one that recommends the nine millimeter uh, crochet hook. And um, I used almost um, about three quarters of the ball of this yarn for the um, women's sized mitts. Okay, so I have one uh, women's mitt complete, and we're gonna be making the other one together. The finished mitt measures about seven inches tall and has a circumference of nine inches. And um, I also grabbed this purple paper so that we have a little bit of contrast because this yarn is cream and we have a white uh, surface that we're working on. So hopefully that'll give a little contrast for our project. Okay, so our mitt, I'm gonna get this out of the way for a moment. Our mitt has a starting chain of 16. So let me just zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put a slip knot on our hook first. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. So we have, a, once again, a starting chain of 16. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, 10, eight, whoops, I keep dropping, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Okay, so once your starting chain is complete, go down to the end of the chain, to that very first one you made, the chain farthest from the hook, and insert the hook into that chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And so we just joined it with a slip stitch. Okay, next we're going to chain two, one, and two, and then see this tail? We're gonna hold that along the edge as we work, and that will weave it in as we go along. Now locate that very first chain, and we're gonna work a half double crochet into that first chain. To make a half double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on the hook, just like that. Again, holding that tail along the edge as we work, we're gonna make another half double crochet to the next chain. And in every chain, we're gonna be working a half double crochet. So just go all the way around with your half double crochets. And I'm going a little bit slow here because I'm holding that tail as I work. So you, you're kind of multitasking when you do this. Okay, every chain, work that half double crochet. We're building up the bottom part of our mitt, the cuff. Now once your tail gets a little bit short, you can drop it. So you see my tail is pretty short. I can just kind of not worry about it anymore. And we'll trim it at the end so it's out of the way, okay? 
So I'm just working my half double crochet all the way around. And we're almost to the end. Okay, that last chain, just work your half double crochet. And now see that chain two we did at the beginning of the round where we've arrived back. So count two chains up, insert the hook into that second chain up, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So you're gonna join to close the round with a slip stitch. Okay, now what I like to do at this point is lay it down and you can grab your scissors. So go ahead and give it a tug and trim. Okay, let's move on to round two. Okay, round two is very similar to round one. So we're just gonna chain two, one and two. Locate that first stitch of the round. Now it might be sort of folded forward a little bit just because of the way it's joined, but you just might have to Sort of feel it with your thumbs and sort of pick up that stitch. So we're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And a half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay, so we're just going to work into the stitch. Now last round we were working into the chain. Now we're working into the stitch. Just go all the way around. Whoops. Okay. Coming up to the end here. And like I mentioned before, these make wonderful gifts. Okay, so see this one here? This is part of this. This counts as uh, our first half double crochet. So that, that space that you see there is part of this. All right, so count two chains up. Insert the hook into that second chain up. Bring the loop through. Bring the loop through the loop already on your hook to fasten off with the slip stitch. Okay, so round two is complete. Now for rounds three, four, five, six, and seven, we're gonna be repeating round two. So that is gonna build up, if we look back at our mitt over here, that is gonna be this section. So we're gonna be building up the cuff. All right, so for round three, let's do the same thing. Chain two, one, two, and just work a half double crochet in each round. I mean in each stitch, excuse me. Half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so just finish up uh, round three by joining with a slip stitch to close. Same thing we've been doing. And again, round four is just repeating round two. Okay, so just chain two, work that half double crochet in that first stitch and in every stitch all the way around. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work round four. We'll rejoin again towards the end of the round. Okay, we're coming up to the end of round four, and we're just gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So we have made some really good progress on our mitt. We're a little less than halfway done. Okay, so we're up to round five. So round five is the same thing, just repeat round two. Chain two, and work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just work all the way around, and then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round as well. Okay, I'm coming up to the end of round five, and once again, count two chains up, join with a slip stitch. Okay, so round five is complete, and round six, again, just repeat round two. So chain two, work that half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. I wanted to point out, for this section that we're doing where we're repeating round two over and over and over again, if you wanna make your cuff longer and have it kind of travel up your arm a little bit more, just work more rounds in this section here. 
And likewise, when you get to the top, if you want to make your mitt a little bit taller and cover your fingers um, more, you can work more rounds at the top as well. You can sort of customize it for however you'd like to wear it. So I'm just going to uh, work round six by working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then we'll rejoin once again. Okay, just coming up to the end of round six, join with a slip stitch to close, same exact thing. And then we're going to do the final round of this cuff part right before we get to the thumb hole. So round seven, we're just going to do the same thing, repeat round two, same thing we've been doing all along. And this will be the last round before our thumb hole. Now I just wanted to say the thumb hole rounds, that there's two rounds that make up the thumb hole. They're very, very easy as well. These are super easy and you can just really whip up a couple of pairs for gifts, uh, probably in one or two settings. So what we're going to do is just work a half double crochet all the way around. Then when we get to the end of round seven, we'll rejoin and begin working on the thumb hole portion. Okay, so round seven, we're just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round as well. Okay, so round seven is complete, and now we're ready to work on the thumb hole part of our mitt. Okay, round eight is completed. This is the first round of our thumb hole. Our thumb hole will be completed in two rounds. So round eight, we're going to chain two. One, two. Then we're going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch just like that, a half double crochet into the second stitch, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to skip three stitches. So see these one, two, three stitches? We're going to skip those, and in that fourth stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. Just like that. So let me get my hook out of the way. You can now see that thumb hole, the very beginnings of that thumb hole is happening right there. So to finish the round, just work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of the round. Okay, I'm just working my half double crochets all the way around and now we're back to where we started already, okay? So here is the last stitch and then just close it the same way we've been doing all along. Count one, two chains up, join with a slip stitch. And round eight is complete. Okay, so you can see, if we take our hook out where we're at. If we line it up with the other one. You can see where we're just right there and we just have a little bit more to go. Okay, so next is round nine. I'm gonna get a little bit more yarn Round nine is just a chain two, one, two, work a half double crochet into that very first stitch, just like that. Work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then in this chain three space, this is called, on the written pattern, this is called the chain three space. This is the space we created by making a chain three, basically. Next, you're going to work three half double crochets into the chain three space. So that's one, two, and three. For the remainder of the round, you're just going to work a half double crochet in each stitch. So just go ahead around and work a half double crochet in each stitch to finish it off. Okay, we're coming up to the end of the round. Just have one more stitch left. Okay, so we're going to once again count two chains up, insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. 
So the two rounds to construct the thumb hole are complete. And I just want to show you here, we slip it on, you can see it looks very nice, okay? And the cuff, I think, has a really nice length as well. Okay, so what we want to do now is continue with round 10. So what we're going to do is chain two, and then we're just going to keep doing that round that we did down here. Just work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and work round 10 by working a half double crochet in each and every stitch, and then we'll rejoin towards the end of that round. And we are in the home stretch. We are almost complete with our chunky mitts. Okay, I'm coming up to that very last stitch to complete round 10. Join with a slip stitch to close the round, same way we've been doing. Okay, we are at the last round, round 11. Okay, so chain two, one, two, and then just do the same thing you did for round 10. Just work a half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, I'm gonna work on my round 11, and then we will rejoin at the end of this round as well and we will finish off the round and then I'll show you how to finish up your mitts, okay? So stay tuned for the end of round 11. Okay, I'm working the last stitch here. The very last stitch of the very last round. Join to close with a slip stitch and your mitt will be complete. So we did 11 rounds and then we're going to cut our yarn with our scissors and go ahead and fasten that off. Now we wove in our tail when we began at the bottom here, but we have one little tail at the top that we need to take care of. So grab your tapestry needle, and this is very chunky yarn. So you'll want to make sure your tapestry needle has uh, a large enough eye to accommodate this, this thicker strand of yarn. So what we're going to do is just thread the tapestry needle and then you can kind of like roll it up because we're going to be weaving this in from the inside. So go ahead and run your tapestry needle through a couple stitches in the inside loops here. Go in one direction and see how I gave it a little tug and it uh, pulls the knot inward and gets it out of the way so it won't be sticking out. And then come back in the other direction. That will help lock this end into place. I'm twisting, twisting, if it's a little bit snug. This yarn is very lofty. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut our strand here. And our mitts are complete. So when you get a chance, you can go ahead and try them on. And they are uh, reversible. I mean, not reversible, but there's no left and there's no right. So you can, now I have to weave this end in, so I just realized that. but. You know, you can wear them on either hand. So our mitts are complete and they look awesome. They look so, they actually, I'm wearing them. So they feel very, very cozy and they're so like squishy and comfortable. So that is how you crochet the uh, chunky women's mitts. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again. Bye.